She started chewing on my left arm, broke the bone, and I could feel and hear her sniffing the back of my neck. And that was probably the eeriest part of the whole thing, was just knowing that her mouth was just inches away from my spine. I was attacked by a bear back in 1992. I didn't have any bear spray. Just don't go out there thinking that nothing's ever gonna happen to you. I was attacked by a grizzly bear twice in one day. I, I never thought it would happen to me, and it did, and it could happen the next time, you never know. There's more bears today than there's been in over 100 years. You know, we stumble upon them, and then they're gonna defend their food, and they're gonna also defend their babies in powerful ways. There's just so much activity now uh, in bear country, so it's important for people to protect themselves. You take a gun or you take bear spray. For most people, bear spray is much safer. Bear spray at least has a chance of it inhaling that and taking into its sinus cavities and its lungs and deterring that bear better than a gun. I've actually looked at a grizzly bear skull and the shape of that skull that can deflect a bullet from almost any angle. It may wound it, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to stop the attack. I really think the bear spray is your better bet and gun is the last resort. I ran into a bear last hunting season and I'll admit it right now, I panicked, I froze up, and why wouldn't I? I mean, I was, I was doing everything wrong. I was alone. I had bear spray. I'm sure it was expired though. By the time I had gotten my bear spray out and I was ready, that bear, had it wanted to, it could have run all over me. That's why we made this video. Every single time you go in the woods, something like that could happen. And a person needs to be prepared for that. Turn around like we're, we're hanging out because we don't know anything's going on, right? You've heard the spiel. Yeah, yeah. How you doing? I'm good. Yeah. There, there! Ha! you. <laughs> you start hearing that noise and you, you want to have it ready. And, Got the, got the safety off the first time, but didn't hit the spray. So it's, there's a lot to be said for muscle memory for that. You really need to train yourself to use this stuff. They come at you pretty fast, faster than I thought it would. I realized that that bear would have bowled me over in that situation. It scared me. It really did happen too fast, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty intense, it's pretty quick. You even know it's like a dummy, you, you know it's a dummy. Awesome job. Practice pulling it from the holster, practice pulling the safety clip. It's like the more you practice it, the more you think about it, the better chance you're going to have of doing it properly, of not panicking in a, an attack situation. Practice shooting it so you know how far it shoots, um, the, the spray pattern, and what it feels like to actually shoot a bear spray. You're going to be ready just in case you need to use it. This video is in, in no way meant to scare people. Bears can be frightening, they're smart, they're impressively strong, and they, they really deserve our respect. I still want to enjoy the wilderness and what Montana offers because there's so much incredible beauty here. This is a beautiful place, there's some great things to do out there. Beautiful country, beautiful animals. Just be prepared and know what you could get into. I don't want to scare anybody away. Get out there and enjoy your life.